Hi, hello and welcome everybody. Hey YouTube, it's been a long time since I've seen you guys. I took a little break. Um, so today we're going to be back with some Diablo 2 Median XL content. I'm a little bored of PoE, what's new, right? Um, so in this, this is season 21 that just released like 20 minutes ago, 30 minutes ago. I'll probably play for like a week or so and then go back to Warcraft 3. Maybe we'll check out some Grim Dawn after. Um, but to talk about season 21, now I'm not like very, you know, crazy good at Median XL. I just play it for fun and my own enjoyment. It's a really fun game for uh, single player and multiplayer progression. Um, it actually really gives me like the Path of Exile vibe, but for Diablo 2, just as Grim Dawn kind of gives me the vibe, but for its own thing. So these are the three games I like to rotate in between. Um, so for the most thing, or most part, for people who have watched a few of my videos on Median Exile previously, um, you know that I've played a lot of Necromancers, and I've played a lot of Paladins, um, and previously I think I played Javazon, or that was the Necro with the Necro we work, rework. This go around, we're either going to play something with Amazon again, but for starting, I want to play uh, an Assassin. And the reason why is, on the Assassin now, they have actually, so I'm just going to skip this here, skip all this juicy stuff, and we're just going to go right to characters. So, Assassin now, traps. Yeah, traps, boys. A new skill type. Traps do not inherit any player's stats unless stated otherwise on the skill tooltip. Weapon... Uh, damage and spell damage scaling attributes do not affect traps. The one exception is the trap damage conversion from subterfuge. Trap damage scales with character level like spells. However, unlike spells, the scaling is not limited to 120. So, the traps basically have their own area, or own skill tree, which is under here. You can see traps. So there's subterfuge, which is a passive, uh, which allows the use of traps, melee summoning, and buff debuff. So I think this may cancel out some of the other skill trees, but I don't really know yet. I've never played Assassin on Median XL. Um, so anyway, it basically says that a percentage of your fire, cold, lightning, physical, magical spell damage increases your trap damage, uh, and it also gives maximum fire and cold res. The only thing is, I don't know how good this is going to be right away, because I don't know if I really want to try to scale a percentage of damage, and then, like, I'm only getting half of that damage to the guys, but it also gives trap damage. So I don't know, this will probably be a one-pointer until I fully understand how the scaling really works. Um, next up is going to be Incineration Trap, which is, it pierces enemy fire res, um, and it also basically says it puts a device on that burns all nearby enemies. The one thing that looks cool about this trap, though, that makes me kind of get excited, because it may be a little clear speed oriented, is it actually gets yards uh, yard range per base level in it, um, which seems really, really good though, because that, you know, like AOE scaling is something that I typically try to aim for when I play games like this, because you want like a nice clean looking character, you know, you want to have a lot of fun when you're playing, you don't want inconsistency. Um, next up we've got Shockwave Trap, which detonates into a chaotic Nova, um, so this one adds maximum traps for base levels and lightning res pierce. So this makes it so that it is physical and lightning scaling. Then we have a, another trap here, which is Catalyst Trap, which empowers other traps and slows enemies. So that's really good to keep them inside there, so for the stronger guys. Um, synergy is damage to chain reaction per level. Chain reaction is... Chain reaction? Damage to chain reaction per base level. What? Hmm. Let's keep looking. Uh, next up is Artifice Mastery, which is passive. This is a really cool passive. It gives block speed and vitality. So block speed is really important um, so you don't get locked in place. And vitality is really good because I think it allows us to just scale vitality. Now the other thing is I played the Javazon before and when I played Javazon there was a passive that gave me flat vitality per ruby. I think it was Ruby, and that actually didn't scale with percentages like this. So I have to see exactly if this scales properly or not. But at the same time, I think it will because I'm not gaining flat. I'm only gaining a percentage. So this is something pretty interesting to look at. Uh, and then I haven't really looked at anything else. I just kind of wanted to give you guys a sneak peek of what we're going to be playing down. I can't really theorycraft. I don't have enough game knowledge yet. I have to actually play the game. Um, but there's also some nice stuff here, like this is teleport, which is really nice. Um, big key thing here on teleport is it actually get, like stuns the targets around you and then of course we've got like perfect being which gives us chance to avoid assuming I can still use this tree after I have this can I I don't know yet um, but yeah that's pretty much about it if you guys are curious on meeting Excel it's super easy to get started they have 
a bunch of information. Basically, you just go to the website, meaningexcel.com, hit play for free, uh, and then I will put out a guide. Basically, I have guides on it before, but basically, like when you play D2 Median Excel, it's really important to have a bunch of bookmarks so that you are constantly referring back to what you need to do. Because if you don't understand the progression of Median Excel, you will kind of get really confused. Uh, but like I said, I have videos and I'll be explaining my character progression as I go on and play this character. So anyway, I hope you guys had a wonderful time. Hope you guys enjoyed yourselves. Remember, if you liked the video, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And remember, you can catch me streaming live every day at twitch.tv slash pox. Take care. See you guys all tomorrow.